Welcome back. In this vid, I'm going to show you how to make a gyroscope or a gyroscopic device from a old hard drive. We're building up piles of surplus computers, a lot of them in junkyards and recycling facilities. There are a whole host of these hard drives that are collecting up in these computers that can easily be obtained to do some interesting experiments. So in this vid, what we can do is, uh, I'm going to show you first of all how to uh, open up the hard drive and you can check to see how many platters it's got. The more platters, the heavier is the, the uh, spinning wheel of the uh, hard drive and the better it is going to be a gyroscope. These type of drives have star-shaped screws. So you can buy these um, mini screwdriver sets that come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. And just look for one that has your star-shaped screws on it. Sorry, everything's going out of focus there. Just go ahead and take out the screws as such. Another thing about some of these drives is that they, uh, if, there's, if there's no data input, the drive will automatically stop spinning. So you have to find a drive that doesn't just shut down if there's nothing going on. There's one more secret screw which prevents it from lifting up, and that's hidden right underneath this label. There's that last remaining screw right there. Get this one out like this. Now this cover should pop off. And here's your hard drive. Next you'll need to connect your hard drive up to your computer power supply. In order for the computer power supply to work outside of the computer, you need to connect the green wire to the black wire. So I've just added a little shunt there connecting the, the green wire here to the black wire here. Moment of truth, let's switch it on. There it goes. Now, I put a little wire on it to see if we can demo its gyroscopic act. There you go. A hard drive gyroscope. It's actually taken quite a bit of force to, to turn this. So that thing is going really, really fast. Here's your hard drive gyroscope. And remember, this is working with all that extra metal casing on it. If you can get one without the metal casing, it would work even more effectively. This is just so cool, I can't stop playing with this gyroscope. Uh, here's some other ones that I got out. Here's a, one with two powders. Here's a single powder one where I can get all the metal casing off of it. So this will make a really good gyroscope. Thanks for watching folks and don't forget to subscribe.